What is up guys, it is me, Dirty12, back here with another video, and today, a lot of reviews will be coming on this channel, and kicking it off will be a review on my, wait for it, drumroll, Star Wars The Black Series, Boba Fett. So yeah guys, this is based off of the tire from... All the movies he was in, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi mostly. Definitely our Attack of the Clones since that's when young Boba was around. But yeah, this figure is very accurate to what we saw in the movies. And let's take a look. So yeah, his helmet is very detailed and very accurate. You can see there's still some silver paint right there. And on the back of the helmet there is some silver paint as well. If the jetpack isn't blocking your view of that. Then, of course, there's the antenna at the top and a black tip. And moving down, he has these, these nice olive green plates going on here. He has this little space logo, maybe some sort of planet, and then these two red lines to signal his loyalty to the Empire. Then this little strand of hair. People don't know what it is. They say it's, Jedi Pad it's a Jedi Padawan braid, but... No one knows. <laughs> On his arms, this is a... This gauntlet shoots out a jumper cable to trap his enemies. And on the other side, this is a little mini flamethrower with the little keys to plug in the coordinates on whoever he wants to shoot it at. And yeah, moving down, he has a brown belt going all the way back around his waist and little gray pouches hanging down. And again, going down on the pants, more gray pouches, these orange little knee protectors. And down below are his gray boots with these little thrusters. So, yeah, he includes a holster on his left side. And in it is a little blaster pistol, his traditional little blaster pistol. Not that detailed, but it can fit snugly into his hand like... So, so he can shoot all his enemies. But unfortunately, this is the only Black Series figure I have. So, yeah. But, yeah. Very nice there. And let's take a look at the back of the figure and the jetpack. So, the back of the figure, I love the jean detail, like the wrinkles. And then, again, he's rocking that green pad underneath the belt, if you can see that. Then, this jetpack is removable and if as you can see there's a little peg on the back that goes into this hole in his back right here and there's these little straps coming down which help the jetpack attach let's take a look at the jetpack so yeah these are the two boosters this is a very accurate and detailed jetpack you can see some of the wear and there's still some of that silver if you can see that then at the top we have a little rocket and then these two like gray little Pegs or guns. So yeah, a very detailed jetpack. And unfortunately, the helmet is not removable, not like Django Fett's. And yeah, guys, be sure to check out Oxfar 333's latest video on... Because he did a review on the Black Series Django Fett. So yeah, then he has some shoulder printing, some shoulder detail there. This little logo, I'm not exactly sure what it means and then this one has nothing at all just still a bit of that silver paint then right here we have this little th i really don't know what to call it correct me if i'm wrong but yeah it's this little like thing he wears around with a red stripe going down the middle so yeah guys let's move on to the final verdict oh yeah and he also comes with a sniper rifle a scope is attached but unfortunately I don't think he can hold it but anyways here's the muzzle at the top and go down the trigger and capping off is the stock with some little detail here there's these designs on either side of the stock so yeah now let's move on to the final verdict overall I gotta give this figure uh, a not an A plus but it is it is very accurate to what we see in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and I think many fans will like that about him. It is a very accurate representation of Boba Fett. 
So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and as always, subscribe for more. More reviews coming today, so stay tuned. WE12.